Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking floating ceiling with light in Revit. And I especially like this detail over here, as you can see, where the column goes through the ceiling, you leave a little bit of a, ga a gap between the ceiling and the column, and it looks like the column is going through the ceiling without actually touching it, and the whole ceiling looks like it's just like floating in space. And I thought it would be really cool. And just for an extra challenge, I'm going to be showing you how to create colored lighting. So we'll have this cool looking club scene. And I know that probably most of us Revit fanatics are not really into clubs, but nevertheless, I thought it would be a cool challenge to do in Revit. Okay, but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template and immediately I like to set the units and I'm going to set it to meters for this project. And now let's start placing walls. So I'm just going to type in WA for walls and I'm just going to create a rectangle like so, like some sort of a hallway. And for this distance, I'm going to be using 12 meters. Now I'm going to add some grids. So I'm just going to type in GR for grid and I'm just going to place one here and then just select it and go create similar or CS. And then I'm just going to use pick lines and an offset of four meters to just kind of multiply these grids over here. Okay, that looks good. We don't really need this one. Okay, and now let's create another grid going vertically. So place one here and one here. Now we want these distances over here, these three distances to be the same. So I'm just going to go into the dimension line and place a dimension like so. Extend it down, click and go here to EQ. And that makes everything equal, all of these distances. Then I'm just going to delete this because I don't need it and go OK. Okay, so once this is completed, I'm, I'm just going to delete this wall because I don't need it. I want it to be open on one side. And now let's just add the columns that we need to, to use. So I'm just going to go here to structure, column, or you can just type in the shortcut CL. And we have only this steel column, which isn't perfect for this, for this example. So I'm just going to go here to load family, step back a folder, go into metric and just find a structural column and I'm going to go with a concrete column and I'm going to be using the square concrete column open it up and I'm just going to choose 600 millimeter and just check this height to level 2 okay and then you just place maybe a couple of them and then we can just copy it make sure you select copy multiple to all other grid intersections okay Okay, here it kind of escaped a bit, so I'm just going to move it in place. Yeah, like so. Okay, so we have our columns, so now let's do our ceiling. And for ceiling, you can either go into ceiling plan, or you can use, use the floor plan anyway, when you're just creating the ceiling plan, it doesn't matter. But anyway, you just go to architecture, ceiling, and here for the height, the default height in Revit is usually 4 meters. So for my ceiling, I'm going to go with 3.7 because I want it to be offset a bit. So I'm just going to go apply. And here I'm going to choose sketch ceiling. And then I'm just going to use a rectangle with an offset of 0.1 or 10 centimeters or 0.1 meters. And then you just make this rectangle and then you hit space to flip it to the inside and you place it like that. Now I'm going to create a rectangle over here as well and then hit space to make it go to the other side and then I'm just going to copy this over here and then just select this and copy it all the way down. Okay, so once I've done that, I can kind of pull in this ceiling a bit. I think it would be better if it was just like flowing, floating in air and let's make this equal at 2 meters. Okay, so once this floating ceiling is completed, we need to create a floor. So for that, I'm going to go to floor plan, go into floor, rectangle, 
and then just create a simple floor. I'm going to go finish, go into 3D, and this is something that we have. And now you just select this floor over here, you go into copy, paste, align to selected levels, you choose level 2, and there you go. Now you can select all the columns, like this, attach top base, attach them to here, and there you go. Now you select all the walls, you go attach top base and, atta and attach them here. Okay, so this is the scene we have. We have these columns and we have our floating ceiling. Now we just need to add the light and then we can create our rendering. So for the light, I need to create a new family. So I'm just going to go here to Revit, new, open up family. And here just try to find a light family and just the generic light fixture. So here we have metric lighting fixture, open it up. And this is what you get. So I'm going to go to front elevation. And here I'm just going to lower this down to something silly like 20 millimeters. And then I'm going to go here to the family types. And here you can make some changes. So first for this uh, initial color, that's the color of the light and you want this to be kind of white. So if this uh, Kelvin number or color temperature is lower, then that, that means the color is kind of yellowish and when it's higher, it's white-ish. So I'm going to go here to 4500 and go OK. And if I open it up, you can see that's kind of a bright white color. You can even go 5000 if you want. Yeah, so we have just this bright white color, go OK. And for this brightness over here, I prefer using 500. This is the actual intensity of the light or how much light there will be in each light fixture. So just go OK. And here we have the color filter, so we can change the color of the light. So let's try something like red for this, that's kind of intense. Go OK, apply, OK. And I usually like to add some geometry over here, not because we need it, but just because I need to have something to see in my Revit project, because when I load this family, this yellow circle won't be visible, and we want to move this light around. So I'm just going to go to reference level, and just create a small extrusion just to have something to navigate me in later on in the project. So this is 15 millimeters, that's okay. Now we get this warning and if you go to front that's because this geometry is going through, a light, uh, through our light source. So you kind of make it smaller and you're finished. So you just go load into project and then you go and just place it anywhere. So I'm just going to place it like this here. And then go into an elevation, maybe north elevation, turn on wireframe, and then look for your family. Okay, here it is. So I'm just going to select it and move it all the way up over here in the ceiling. Then I'm going to go to ceiling plan, level 1. And it's here somewhere, but again, we need to go into wireframe to see it. And here it is. So I'm just going to place it like so over here, create an array go OK and then let's make this I don't know like 8 and last and then you select it you move it and you get something that looks like this now this is OK so you just select the whole array maybe nudge it in place you can copy it copy it to the other side you select it kinda of move it in place copy it again place it here rotate it you can rotate it by 90 degrees, like so, and place it on the other side. And let's just copy it to the other side again, over here. Okay, like that, and we're finished. So now we're just going to be selecting these lights and just make sure to select all of them. And you have these lines because it's an array, or actually it's a bunch of arrays. And you go to copy, you select the middle of this column, Make sure the multiple is selected and then you just copy it around on all columns. Okay, and as you can see I kind of missed over here. So just by holding the control, I need to select everything again. And then just by using the arrow keys, I can 
move it in place. Okay, so let's do, just do the lighting that's on the outside over here. That will be quick. So you just kind of tab in a place, select one of these, copy them over here to the edge, place it like this. And then again, you go array or just AR for shortcut. And you type in some high number because we need a lot of lights over here. And you place it like so. Then you select again one of them, just hit tab, copy it, move it a bit down, select it, go into array. Let's use 150 for this one because there will be a lot of lights. And then let's just move it over here. Give it a moment. OK. And then we're just going to select everything like this. OK, just unselect this one and then copy it to the other side. So you just copy it over here. OK, so once all of these lights are in place, let's create a camera angle. So I'm just going to go to level one and create a camera angle looking kind of down th this, this column path or whatever. And then let's just extend it a bit like this. Okay, this looks quite decent. Maybe make it a bit bigger. And now we need to render. So I'm just going to type double R for render. And here for the setup, you need to go to artificial lighting. And then uh, for the settings, I suggest you use high or even best when you're rendering lighting like this in interiors because Revit usually doesn't render light very good at medium or draft is just terrible. So it will take a bit longer, but it will look amazing. So I'm just going to go here high and then hit render. And this is something that you get. It kind of looks like a strip club actually. But anyway, okay, so you go here to adjust exposure and then you go to brighter to make everything, well, brighter. So let's make it, okay, that looks real creepy. Okay, but oh, it's actually quite cool. I don't know, I like it. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I thought you weren't, I hope you are not freaked out and I hope you learned anything, something, whatever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.